What's life in North Korea really like? Well, a YouTuber appears to be trying to answer that question. Hi everyone, I'm Yumi from Pyongyang. This is my first video. This YouTuber launched her channel titled Olivia Natasha Yumi Space DPRK Daily around five months ago. The weather was still hot and she made a video about enjoying ice cream in the North Korean capital, even briefly interviewing some women who are nearby. Other videos in her series include her visiting a fitness center, commuting on the Pyongyang metro, celebrating the new year, introducing food and snacks, and going to an amusement park. There was even one moment where things didn't go so well, as she approached a man while he was fishing by the Taedong River in Pyongyang. How embarrassing! I totally got annoyed. But that last line from her sounded rather scripted, didn't it? As if the rejection by the man fishing had been planned. And it's a running theme as this channel seems to be trying to capture a sense of realism by challenging preconceptions about North Korea being strictly controlled, even with an apparently choreographed failed interview. Another example would be Yumi's two videos on football in which local players and regular fans talk about the outside world, including the World Cup, as if they have free media access, even trying to settle the big debate. Who is better, Ronaldo or Messi? Messi won. Aside from the videos being scripted, they also make references that you wouldn't find in a regular YouTube series. Like, for example, in the ice cream video, there was a mention of the factory where local snacks were made. Critics are pointing out that a YouTuber in North Korea wouldn't have much freedom at all that the North would be making these videos for her, and that even so, they show a privileged life in North Korea. NK News reports that this channel appears to be part of a global propaganda campaign that's been running since 2018, including featuring girls filming videos of themselves talking about various topics from COVID-19 to Harry Potter. Regardless, these channels do provide a very interesting insight. If nothing else, into how North Korea wants to be viewed by the outside world.